I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing Hi guys, we are on Varium24.com and today we are going to disassemble the smartphone Samsung Galaxy A24. At the very beginning, we need to remove the car tray. For this, we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the tray. This tray is not pushed out well, so we additionally use tweezers to remove the tray for two SIM cards and a memory card. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back core to a temperature about 65-70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. We can see that the temperature increases to the temperature we need. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can proceed to the assembly. To detach the back cover, we need to slightly lift the edge, because the cover is recessed a little. To do this, we use a thin metal tool. Carefully pry up the edge and slip a plastic film into this place. We run the film along the cover to detach it. We should always be careful around the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor, because in this area may be located cables and they can be damaged. We also need to be careful around the cameras. As the back cover is detached separately from the cover of the cameras, the back cover will be glued around the cover of the cameras, and the camera cover is attached to the middle cover by clips. And finally, we have the back cover detached. It wasn't so easy to get it off. Then we use a non-metal tool to disconnect the fingerprint sensor cable connector. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the top and bottom. We use a Philips 1.5mm screwdriver or hash 3 we can also use a 2.0mm screwdriver or hash 2 Please note that in the bottom part we have attached antenna tracks. So we need to be careful in this place when detaching the core or unscrewing the screws. And we can move on to detaching the middle core. We use plastic film, run the film into the gap near the card tray hole and gently run it along so that we can use a thicker tool. This is not the way to detach the clips with a thin film on this model. As always, we need to be careful around the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor, on the corners and around the cameras.
and we remove the middle cover. On the cover we have the contact pads and antenna transmission lines. And also the speaker is located in the middle cover. We disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. We use tweezers with the ceramic tips. And we can detach the interboard cable. We disconnect the connectors on the subboard and motherboard and move the interboard cable aside. After that, we disconnect the connectors of two coaxial cables and release the cables themselves from the clips, fixing them on the subboard. We need to unscrew one screw, securing the subboard. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips. One of the connectors is glued to the subboard, so we will remove the subboard at the very end. After that, we disconnect the connectors of two coaxial cables on the motherboard. And we detach the front camera, holding it by the body so that it doesn't fly off. We detach the one rear camera in the same way. We need to unscrew one screw, securing the motherboard. We use a 1.5 mm or 2.0 mm Phillips screwdriver. And we move on to detaching the motherboard, finding a convenient place, hook by the edge and pull out the motherboard. Then turn it over and detach the two rear cameras. It is also better to hold the cameras by the body to prevent them from flying out and damaging the lenses. And finally, we move on to removing the battery. We need to unwrap the transparent coating on the sides and the blue tab in the middle. With one hand, we hold the display frame and with the other we pull the blue tap upwards. And nothing happens. The thing is that the transparent coating on the sides is fused to the battery. We need to use a metal tool to carefully peel off the battery in these places without damaging the display frame or the battery. and we can pull the battery out. As we can see, the edges of the battery have bent off where it's fused. Carefully remove the battery and we still have to detach the subboard. First, we need to unstick the display connector. Carefully pry it off and unstick it. After that, we can remove the subboard. On the subboard, we have the charging port, the microphone, the headphone jack port, and in the display frame, we have the vibration motor, speaker, and coaxial cables. Okay. This is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.